Operation Catch Him and Cuff Him is the go. Welcome back. I'm in Planted Wheel 7, bringing you with a Hero Recon Team somewhat Hero Factory review. Today I'm be doing 4.0 Breakout. See? Raka. See? Game points, choking hazard, 500, 7 to 14, nothing on the back, just showing stuff. And I just threw it on the ground. <laughs> We're gonna, as you can see, it's like, I, turns out that at, when I was doing my review of the double review of Brain Attack, it turns out that Bulk Smash was a fan-made thing, and they actually, LEGO actually listened to their fans for once. So I will give them credit, even if it makes me a little bit mad, it's okay. I'll let it slip by. Alright, then. As you can see it off by the green brand new color green that's I think it's been out for a while but finally hit Hero Factory this nice green green translucent not the other green greens that I have where are they um, they're on one of my mocks apparently All right as you can see he also has handcuffs for Operation Catch Him and Cuff Him he caught Black Phantom and apparently Operation Catch Him and Cough Him is still going on even in the breakout line. I mean, in, not breakout line, the Brain attack, I <laughs> nearly forgot. <laughs> As you can see, he has a crossbow plasma cannon with not just one, but explode. And his secondary, if he had a pulse rifle, would these would be explosive cross rounds that he used to take out what? Thoraxia? I don't know. It's that little spider thing that no one remembers. It's like, tush. unless you want to go in third person mode. As you can see, his main color is gold, secondary is gunmetal. Yeah, it's really simple, really nice, and I can tell this is the one that everyone wanted to get first in the breakout wave, because he just looks pretty. And he's Hero Recon Team! Why don't you want a Recon Team member? Seriously, people, it's Recon Team. I have one, and I want to make some more, just I don't have the parts for that, but it's close enough. Right, I'm rambling on. As you can see, he is really, really tall. He's like, I'm, I think he's even taller than Core Hunter, which is shocking. Would have been better if Core Hunter had this leg size, but I don't have those kind of pieces to my memory. Alrighty then. As you can see, he actually covers up the back. The only big grub that they could have put in, like, that piece that they have for holding the big shoulder arm on, um, Bruticus, or Bruiser. <laughs> just put it right there, and then put, like, a small, or one of the ones just go right there, and it'll look normal, like they did with the Stormer XL. Alrighty then. Also, I really love his chest plate. Let me make it darker. There we go. I think this is, the, to my opinion, the best looking chest plate in, out of the whole breakout line. As you can see, if they could make this in green, I will be amazed. I know I did it in the breakout game, but that lasted not too long. As you can see, his handcuffs, these are made out of this, this strong plutonium. Um, c correct me if I'm wrong, but these things are physically indestructible. I can tell. I can't get it break. They are literally instructable. They have, you can literally just handcuff them personally, or you can toss them and they seek out their targets. Wow. Apparently that bucket was right there. It was perfect hewing. Yay. All right. What do I give him? I will give him a 20 out of 20. I haven't been giving anybody a 20 out of 20 for a while. And this guy, he has nothing wrong. Raka is like my s second favorite. Right next to Evo. And number one is Bulk. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Comment down below. Hit the subscriber button. Dislike if you like. Bye.